Eskimo is here in the valley now. That's one thing that we kept talking about during the pandemic. There was a couple famous stories where families were requesting it, demanding it, but the valley did not have the capabilities for ECMO and patients wound up having to be transferred to San Antonio or Houston. As of February 8th, the Rio Grande Valley has ECMO capabilities here. We uh, hired an ECMO director two years ago and trained here at the hospital for 1.5 years in training the nurses, the respiratory therapists, creating a whole team to have an actual true full ECMO program. And as of February 8th, we went live with that program and we've actually already had a couple patients on ECMO. So this is a great thing for our region. We, if somebody desperately needs ECMO and they're wherever they are in the region, if they're hurting, they don't have to, you don't have to separate them from their families and fly them out of the region again. They can stay right here. We have the capabilities now. Uh oh. We talked about education. ECMO is here already. We'll continue to grow that program. I see improved coordination and care from all the different EMS services and other hospitals in the region. Maybe one day a concussion clinic and maybe even, maybe even taking care of more burn patients. Again, trying to close all the loopholes for everybody leaving. The last thing I want to say is trauma care is truly a team effort. And so I don't want to miss anybody out. Uh, but first off, it starts with EMS. So thank you to all of our EMS free hospital providers that come and work with us. It's, that's a very thankless job. You know, they, they scoop the guy up at one in the morning, drop him here, and that patient never sees them again. But without them, they would have died in the ditch, so to speak. So they're very important. Um, our ER, I don't know if anybody from the ER staff was able to come, but they're there with us, receiving the patients every single day, all day long. I was on Saturday, just during the day, we had like 17. They're there every step of the way with us. And what you guys many times don't see is the back end work. And that, two, that team is those two tables right there. Those are all the nurses, uh, injury prevention, and our new nurse practitioner, all of these guys. Those two tables do all the back end work for tracking all the trauma patients and making sure that while you're in the hospital, nothing's getting missed on you. Such as, did we start DVT prophylaxis? Did they, is, are they wearing the proper collar? These are the people coming around and checking on you to make sure that nothing is missed. So thank you to them, and they're my whole team. I'm with these guys every day, and I only look good because of them. So thank you. Um, Marcy, always running great events. And I also don't wanna, also don't wanna leave out, number one, research because we're always trying to push that envelope. So thank you to Dr. Rao, Dr. Bencourt. And lastly, many times forgotten, but then always heard, rehab. Dr. V. And um, outpatient rehab I see over here. Um, I'm currently a patient myself, actually. I was at rehab this morning. So I, I had surgery here at DHR. I had, a, I had my knee worked on, and I'm currently going through rehab myself right here, and it's a very good program. So let's not forget that after you survive the trauma and we fix your injuries, you still have to go through the rehab process before coming back home. And lastly, I wanna say thank you to uh, all the people in the hospital administration that support us, because they're also behind the scenes and you don't see them, but hiring all, this, all these staff, helping me recruit them, helping pay for them, helping fly me to conferences all the time when I'm speaking at and raise awareness for what's going here in the Valley. None of that happens without administration putting support and money behind it. So thank you to all of you. And lastly, thank you to our trauma survivors who were able to make it here. And uh, thank you for putting your trust in us to take care of you. We hope that you had a good experience. And uh, hopefully we don't have to see you again in that manner. Um, but God forbid you or any of your family members do, we will always be here around the clock 24 seven. And...